Edgun Leshy presents. Before we jump into some long range pew pew with the Leshy 2, I just wanted to thank Tacticam for sponsoring today's video. All the scope cam footage you'll see uh, is filmed through their FTS mount and Tacticam 5.0 camera. I personally use a few different scope cam setups based on what I'm doing, and the Tacticam FTS is one of them. It's a great option for someone that needs a small but robust system that can get bounced around a little bit out in the field. The reality is uh, scope camming is hard, right? What you see on YouTube takes a lot of work and tinkering out in the field. What I like about the FTS system is it really eliminates a lot of it um, just by being a closed system. And what I mean by that is the camera and the mount are made by the same company. So I'll drop an Amazon link in the description for the complete system. Let me know in the comments if you want in a future video a segment of me setting one up and some kind of best practices. I'm happy to do it. All right, so let's get into today's video. All right, so today's gonna be a little bit different of a video. Uh, I've been getting tons of questions in the comments about the Leshy 2, specifically its capabilities at longer ranges than I show on this channel. So I don't typically do straight up air gun reviews, mostly because honestly, I find them a little boring. Uh, and two, probably more importantly, I almost shoot exclusively in my yard, which is limited to 35 yards. So not that impressive for you long range junkies. So I know a lot of you like to see things stretched out in 100 plus yards, so traditional reviews are just not my jam. Uh, I prefer to just entertain you all with the story of the critter infestation in my yard uh, and the badass air guns I use to deal with said infestation. So if you're here to see some critters get greased, I'll throw a link in the uh, upper corner here. You can go check out some of my favorites on this channel. All right, so we're going to do a quick showcase of what the Leshy 2 can do at 50, 100, and 150 yards with the help of my buddy Brian. So the Leshy 2 comes in 250 millimeter, 350, 450, and 600 millimeter barrel options. So generally speaking, the longer the barrel, you're going to see higher velocities resulting in better accuracy downrange at these longer distances. What I thought would be interesting is uh, to shoot the smallest configuration in the biggest caliber, figuring that would perform the worst out of all of them at these longer ranges, which will give you a baseline of what this platform can do without having to shoot them all uh, and bore you to death with a 30 minute video. So here's the little, uh, the little Leshy 2 that we're going to uh, use for this demo. It's a 250 millimeter 30 cal shooting JSBs. Uh, 50 grainers at around 720 feet per second at the muzzle. So in theory, this thing should be even harder to shoot well uh, at 50 yards and beyond. Um, we're headed out to the California hills with real life conditions. The wind is variable, swirling a little bit, 10 to 15 miles an hour, and you'll see the dust uh, flying. And we'll shoot groups at 50 and 100 yards. And we're going to snipe some soda cans at 150. And oh yeah, Brian's going to do it with a 6X fixed optic, the Dadal Stalker. So all of this is caught on scope cam using the uh, Tacticam FTS system and then another Tacticam 5.0 wide downrange so that you can actually see the groups a little bit better. Some lessons I've learned in my and observations and, uh, of ownership of head guns is that most of them are set up from the factory better than anybody could tune them themselves, especially the Ed Gun Leshy 2. Ed has a master gunsmith that checks every one before it leaves Russia. So I've watched a recent review of the Leshy 2 and it was clear to me that that thing had been tinkered with. Uh, it was shooting all over the place. It looked like a shotgun. Um, so when you get this thing, take it out of the box, fill it with air, load some pellets, shoot, and repeat.
Another thing I'm seeing in the comments of some forums is around it being a semi-automatic and it can't be accurate or I didn't expect it to be accurate because it was a semi-automatic. A little history lesson here. In 1836, Samuel Coate invented the revolver. The Leshy 2 is essentially a take on Samuel Coates' initial invention nearly 200 years ago. Some of the most accurate pistols in the world have been revolvers. Sending a projectile from a cylinder into a bore is not new technology. Uh, it's just new for air guns. So uh, you're watching the shortest configuration of this gun shooting a 30 pretty slow and into the wind. So I hope this video helps you guys understand the potential and how amazing this little thing is. As you can see, the gun, even in the short 250 millimeter version, is perfectly capable at longer ranges. But uh, one of my favorite things uh, about the Leshy 2 is the versatility. Ammo right now in the firearm space is impossible to get. And when you do find it, you feel like you're, uh, you should be humming Moon River as your credit card is being fisted. The Leshy 2 can set up identical to your AR. Uh, and you can run drills pretty much anywhere. You can take the same gun and then go shoot some coyotes hogs and all sorts of small game so for me the semi-auto leshy 2 is the ultimate air gun uh, and one that truly bridges the gap between air guns and firearms thanks for watching guys hopefully that helped answer some of the questions about the capabilities of the leshy 2 at longer ranges if you're looking for a more in-depth overview of it i'll throw a link up now so you can go check that out let me know in the comments if you have any additional questions or things you'd like to see this thing do on film. So stay tuned. I've got a new video drop in in a couple days uh, where we're going to get back to some critter bashing as well as an opportunity to put this insane new light from Olight called the Odin Mini through its paces. See you guys soon. Thanks for watching the Ed Gun Leshy channel. Want more backyard hunting videos? Grab your favorite beverage and get yourself caught up. There's hundreds just like the one you just watched. Here's a couple favorites to get you started.